Hi, I'm Christian. Follow me into Portable Winch World. Now that you've chosen your portable winch PCW3000, in this video we'll show you how we ship it, how to prepare it, and how to use it. So in the box you're gonna find the info pocket, the anchor sling, and as you can see the winch is pretty well wrapped for shipping. Now that the winch is out of the box, you're now to the point where you need to put the oil and the gas in it. There's already oil in the gearbox and it's sealed at the shop so there's no worry about that. But of course there's no oil in the engine and no gas. So what you need to do is remove this little cap. You put 100 milliliters of 10W30 oil, the regular oil. And if you don't have a bottle with uh, the height on it what you can do is just put the winch on a level table and as soon as it start dripping from the hole you know that you have enough oil as for the gas you put regular gas in there since it's a four stroke engine you don't need to mix the oil with the gas you just fit it up and also the nice thing about this little one is that it's a all position engine so it can be taken anywhere in all direction and also you can use it in all direction which is a great feature so now that you're ready, we'll just anchor the winch to a tree and show you how to pull with it. So now what you want to do is anchor the winch. So you use the uh, polyester sling that comes with the winch. What you want to do is have the sling in a U shape around the tree. You, want, you don't want to go in a second loop around because what you don't want is to have a different pressure or strength applied to one of the, the two hooks. Sorry. You want the same pressure applied to both hooks. So once you're ready, you just clip the sling into each hook. You align the winch with the load and you'll be ready to start the engine. So now you're ready to start the engine. One thing that is important is that the first time you're going to start it, you're going to let it run at idle for about five minutes before applying some tension to it, just to make sure that everything is okay. When you're ready, you put the switch to the on position you have the choke here if it's a cold start you don't you just put it in position but in this case the engine is already warm the throttle lever is at the low lowest position you need to pump some gas in here make sure that it's the conduit is full and then you just pull on the rope just pull in the right axle you don't want to damage either the rope or the casing and it should run greatly so when you're ready, all there is left to do is to put the rope into the winch. So you put the rope, this one is a 10 millimeter rope, you put it in the entry hook. You go around the drum three or four turns, depending on the friction you want to create. And then you go into the exit hook. So as soon as, 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 sorry, as, soon as you're going to start the engine, the drum is going to start turning. If you don't pull on this, there's no pressure applied to the drum, so nothing happens. But as soon as you start pulling, you start winching. And then if you want to stop, you just release the tension and it's stopped. It's really easy to operate and you can do it very quickly. So when you're going to pull with the winch, it's quite easy. Actually, you just stand back about a meter and uh, you're going to pull with both hands. Wearing gloves is a very good idea for safety. Also, by standing back like this, you're never into the line of pull. So if anything happens, there's not any problems. A rope accumulating to you next to your feet is uh, something you want to be aware of so you don't jam your feet around the rope. Same thing with your hands. When you're pulling on the rope, you just pull like this. You don't wrap the rope around your hand. Again, it's a safety issue. So when the drum is turning, when I pull, the winch lifts in the air. 
when I'm done and when I want to stop, I simply release the tension on the rope, on the drum, and the winch will go back to the floor. It's that easy. After using the winch, all there is left to do is clean it a little bit. Thank you for watching and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. And remember, the PCW3000 will be your best friend for many years to come. Oh, don't forget, there's more videos to see.